How's it going YouTube? Hydrax and in today's video we're going to be talking about the 60 million users worldwide summon. As you can see we have it pulled up right here and it is one of the best banners that Legends has ever released. Uh, I believe it is one of the most valuable banners we will see for a very very long time because it guarantees a Legends limited on each multi summon you do. Uh, it is a 5 times only summon so you are guaranteed to get 5 LF units basic minimum. Apart from that, you could get lucky and pull a lot of the other LF units during these steps because it is not restricted to one per multi. It is uh, a usual summon that you would get. So you do have the ability to maybe pull a lot of the other LF units. So you could get two, maybe even three in one multi, which is, means it is extremely, extremely valuable. But apart from that, it is a normal banner which has access to a lot of these sparking units that have released in the game, such as Maju. Akaishin, Topo, you've got the Revival Kid Gohan, Kaelin Khalifla, you have the Bird Coup, the uh, Snake Arms Piccolo. There's a lot of units on here that you could use if you do not have them already. Uh, and if we look at the bottom here in the unfeatured, well, it's featured and unfeatured, uh, this is going to be your best option here to pick up a lot of the LFs that require Zenkais, such as Namek Goku, FSK, Super Vegito, and then you have Goten and then God of Destruction Beerus. Apart from that, you do have the ability to pick up Super Saiyan 3 Goku and then obviously the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta as well as Full Power Freezer and then the LF Piccolo, all of which have Zenkai's as well and are more prominent than the ones we saw at the bottom. Apart from that, you do have the ability now to pick up a lot of the copies of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, who will eventually get a Zenkai and when he does, he will be very very strong so getting copies of him now opposed to later may work in your favor same can be said for a margin vegeta and then the ui sign goku both of which require zenkai at this point to even be remotely usable in pvp i would say that margin vegeta at 14 stars can still be used uh, he is still very strong at that 14 stars post transformation but these guys here do require a lot more help maybe even a, a specific platinum equip similar to the SSJ4 Gogeta in terms of making them usable. Same can be said for Broly. Broly is at, at the point where he does require Zenkai to be good. But if we look at the mid to high tier uh, end of the units, you can see we have the future Gohan here who does not appear every banner now because they have realized that he is a very strong unit in terms of his ability to uh, stop combos and his ability to uh, disrupt the opponent in terms of sealing cards and his ability to restore vanish on strike cards so he ha does have some value there same can be said for rose goku i believe he is a, a slept on lf uh, his ability to reduce dragon balls by uh, i believe it's a 15 percent chance to destroy them uh, when he uses a strike card uh, is going to be very very valuable that and the fact that he does chip damage to on, on i believe on every card he does i believe Yes, uh, Strike uh, Blast doesn't do it, unfortunately. But his blue card is a AoE blue card that does hit the bench. So he does have a lot going for him in that respect. If we look at the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, obviously not, not a very good LF, uh, but he does have access to the Platinum Equip that um, is available for him. It does not make him extremely, extremely busted, but it does help to close the gap between uh, modern day LF units and this guy here. Kid Buu can be a very strong unit as well, uh, I believe he's still very underrated. Uh, he does have the ability to control the entire battle if you let him uh, work his magic with his green card and his ability to restore vanish. He can be a very menacing unit once he gets going. Uh, it is a very dangerous uh, unit, it's just that his teams don't see enough play, so you don't see this guy as often as you would normally do. Uh, Corrupted Zamasu is an up-and-coming LF unit. A lot of people are, are going to be using him uh, more frequently now because of the Ultra Kaioken Goku and then obviously you have the Lineage of Evil Yellow Yellow Blue setup uh, with the full power freezers and then you have the Revival Freezer. This guy being able to nullify Endurance after he pops his main ability for 30 time accounts means that he's going to be a perfect unit to go up against the yellows in the meta. And of course the Jiren that is also prominent uh, with the uh, Universe Survivor Saga tag. So he's going to be up and coming. He just needs a little bit of more help. He does have a double Zenkai buff with the Rosé and then obviously 
you have the um, the Super Gogeta from the uh, movie who is also buffing him and the red fusions so he does have a sizable Zenkai buff he just needs a little bit extra help with the new platinum and he's going to be up there with the most used red units right now uh, same can be said for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta who is probably the most uh, valuable but uh, I would actually say the second most valuable unit on this banner honestly I believe Frieza is going to be more valuable than him purely because he nullifies endurance as a basic but other than that this guy has his platinum equipment he does wondrous things in terms of how he controls the field with his blast armor her green card and goes type neutral when you pop his main ability so we obviously know this guy is going to be very good and one of the units you're obviously aiming for if you are going to be summoning on this banner but let's not forget for the other four units that are available here. Great Ape Vegeta is a very strong unit. Um, he is quite slept on. But unfortunately, this this Vegeta does suffer from the fact that you do need him at a, a, a very high stars to actually make him very useful, such as 9 stars and above, uh, to actually make him shine the way he needs to. Because this guy does not have a, a lot of defense coming from his kit, uh, you do need the stars to make up for that difference in defense. But he does have luck going for him such as the ability to uh, eat a rush from a unit like Ultra Gogeta. Uh, assuming Ultra Gogeta does not pop his uh, uh, ultimate and nullify this guy's endurance. But he does have a lot going for him in terms of AoE green card, his ability to draw multiple strikes. And the fact that he, he is red means he is going to be very useful along uh, fighting the dominant yellow presence in the meta. If we look at another unit that is quite slept on, it's going to be Perfect Cell. Perfect Cell is very overshadowed by the Android 21 Zenkai, but if you have this guy at 7 stars, he does have a lot to offer for his teams. It's unfortunate though that his teams have not received a buff since the Fusion, or I should say the uh, Tag Assist, uh, Goku, Black, and Zamasu from last year. Uh, he does have the Zenkai, uh, well, access to Android 21 Zenkai to buff him up. Alongside that, he does have uh, access to Janemba. So he is getting quite a bit of a Zenkai buff. We are using him, and he does do extra damage against Hybrid Saiyans, which in f if they do manage to make a comeback, uh, which I have been seeing honestly in PvP, I have been noticing a lot more Hybrid Saiyans. If they do manage to have a comeback, this guy will definitely be a must-run because he does have increased damage against them. And then obviously you have the Evolution Blue Vegeta, a uh, banner unit on the Kaioken Goku banner. Uh, yeah, he is actually, yeah, it's all three of them, the Gogeta, the uh, Vegeta Blue here, and then obviously the Kaioken. Uh, this guy is the best yellow outside of the Kaioken Goku. On the same teams Kaioken Goku is on because he is Universe Survival Saga, he is God Key. He is going to be very useful along on the Vegeta family team if you do need a more offensive unit. Uh, but this guy is a very very strong unit once you get him up in the stars. So let's say about 8 stars he does shine quite heavily because he does have anti-revival mechanics built in. He does nullify endurance. He does have luck going for him uh, and he's a wrecking ball once he gets going in terms of managing his key at 35 because all of his damage comes from that and his ability to sustain himself at the low key end means he's going to be very very powerful in those situations where you're pretty much stuck uh, comboing if you're locked in with uh, Ultra Gogeta or if you're locked in another way uh, let's say with um, let's say Corrupted Zamasu he can probably just take a few, uh, a few hits there because he does heal with green cards so he is going to be very very useful if you do not have Kai and Goku very very valuable if uh, you are running Universe Survival Saga, God Key or Vegeta Family. So he is going to be another unit that is a very very prominent unit you want to pick up from this banner. And then you have the Revival Gohan who is not aged a single day in my opinion. The only thing that is aged is his team and the ability for him to be countered right now. Kaioken Goku absolutely destroys this guy. A lot of the uh, prominent yellow units now mean that this guy is ac absolutely uh, nerfed into the ground. Well, not nerfed, let's just say countered into the ground because every team now is running at least one or two yellow units in the meta. So you're probably not going to even run this guy uh, 
even if you did have the opportunity to. But apart from that, if you are going up against a usual team, let's say Saiyans for example, he does have the ability to revive and the fact that Endurance and Revival still works on this team means that he is going to be extremely, extremely strong uh, with that setup with FSK. The similar and the same old setup that was a very large problem uh, before the Goku and Vegeta drop last year. So let's look at the banner. As you can see, the drop rate is 0.08%. That is a usual uh, or the usual rate that is uh, the normal rates for this banner. Uh, so in the uh, event of a multi summon, the first nine units from units one to nine will have a 0.08% chance uh, to pull a Legends Limited unit. And on the final step, it is a 4% chance per Legends Limited unit that there is available here. That means you are going to get at least maybe one or two, depending on how lucky you get on this uh, banner. You could actually pull even three uh, LF units in a single multi because they are uh, a lot higher rates than they would normally be. Uh, usually at zero point, uh, actually zero point five percent. But on that end, you have access to a much larger pool of units who are very, very good, such as Full Power Freezer, Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. You have the Gohan, and then Half Corrupted Zamasu. Other than that, you have the ability to get units that you could Zenkai, such as the Vegeta, Goku, the guys at the bottom, and then obviously Piccolo. Obviously, Frieza is here as well, and then in future. These guys here will eventually get a Zenkai, and they're actually due for a Zenkai. I believe Vegeta Baloo should be next, and then Majin Vegeta. These guys are all going to get Zenkais at some point, so you might as well just pick them up now rather than later. So when it comes to should you summon on this banner, my final answer should be yes and no. If you are missing a lot of these units, you actually should maybe throw three multis at this, even five multis if you have the Chrono Crystals at a, at a, a very stable amount. You can actually throw 5,000 in this and walk away extremely happy because you know that regardless of what you pick up on this banner, it's going to be useful for you uh, in terms of maybe they have a Zenkai or even if you pick up a unit you didn't already have, uh, such as Super Saiyan 4 Goku. This guy is almost never on banners. Uh, because I believe I actually don't know why because he's actually so bad you actually need him at high stars to, uh, for him to actually be good so my advice would be to wait until the final day this is going to be uh, for nine days uh, I believe from to, actually from tomorrow it's going to be eight days it's going to be here for eight days so you have eight days to decide whether or not you want to summon and if you are going to summon I would suggest you wait until the final day as late as possible that you can absolutely wait uh, because if they do release a new LF unit that is extremely extremely powerful or very hype uh, you can or do have the uh, option to maybe skip this and maybe go for that other unit instead because we all know that the LF units nowadays are releasing are extremely and absurdly powerful such as Jiren for example and now that they're throwing in a lot of the Ultra units now every three months, these guys are going to get more valuable because when they get Zenkai's, these guys are going to be able to compete with a lot of the um, Ultra characters that are going to be released. So my advice is, yes, you should summon if you do have enough Chrono Crystals, but I would wait until the final day to see what Legends has in store because there's no way they just drop this very, very, very worthwhile banner without um, having something in their back pocket that they can throw at us later which would require you to maybe farm up more chrono crystals or even buy chrono crystals uh, to summon but five times for five uh, legends limited unit guaranteed apart from that you have the option to pick up a lot of these sparking units if you are lucky enough and if you're lucky enough you can pick up a lot of these other legends limited units on the normal steps so my advice as always wait till the last day see what they're doing if they're doing nothing, go ahead and go for this. This is way more than worth it, considering that Ultra characters uh, rates are going to be very terrible. You might as well just go ahead and focus on the Legends Limited side of the game. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of this banner. Are you going to summon on it? Have you already summoned on it? And if you did, what did you pull? And do you think that they have something in their back pocket that they're going to throw at us later this month? If they are, what would your prediction be? Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
My name is Hydrax. I'll catch you in the next one.